let's talk about Matin à Mogador. So this is from the Spanish house of Botanique, Artisan Parfum. Uh, it's this house which was just released in, I believe, 2021. Has several fragrances, about five or six of them. And the idea behind the house is that they want to capture travel within a bottle. So this fragrance is called Matin à Mogador. So let's talk a little bit about uh, the Botanique house and this fragrance here called Matin Mogador. There are not a lot of reviews on the internet regarding this fragrance and regarding this house. It is mostly a niche house from Spain. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't want to wear people off, I don't want to scare people. People usually associate niche with expensive. Um, and I want to tell you that's not always the case, especially when we're dealing with this house here. So, one of the first things I want to do, and usually I don't go into a lot of details about the box of a fragrance because on this channel what we really care about is what's in the bottle, right? And if you have not subscribed, that would be uh, amazing if you did. It would really support this channel. So let's just go over the box quickly. This is the box. And let's see that. So this is raised a little bit here. It might be a little bit washed out. Um, and then you open it. So, you know, it's just a box. You open it and it has this great insert and this paper that comes with it here. Um, and it says, it has a small story about how Matin Mogador, the Medina wakes up with a chant, there's still fog, the merchants open their doors after the night. While the fishermen come back from the sea, the day starts, Esa Vira, summer 2016. And it's this really nice, like, uh, I don't want to say muslin paper. And then you open it and the insert and the bottle stays, uh, rests in there. It's really, you know, the thing is, I really appreciate this because it is attention to detail. So if the name is Sawira, uh, or Matin Mogador, which basically means a morning in Mogador, which is the Essaouira region in Morocco. Uh, it's this, if that sounds familiar or looks familiar, it's because this was the place that they filmed Astapor uh, in GOT. So if you're a GOT fan, that's a little bit of trivia for you. Essaouira is the place. What's in the bottle? This fragrance is a lot of things and I want to take my time with this because I really want to highlight, especially on this channel, on, my, on this channel, I really want to highlight fragrances which are not as well known, which are not on everyone's list. And shout out to Joy Amin for putting this on my radar because otherwise I honestly wouldn't have known about it. So the welcoming party of this fragrance is Iris and Violet. and. Throughout the rest of this fragrance, you get nutmeg, vanilla, amber, um, obviously the iris, and a little bit of leather. Now, I have not done this fragrance justice in just highlighting, you know, the notes that I get to my nose on this fragrance because on quite honestly there's about 15 20 notes in this fragrance i've given you i mean you can go online and i'll put a link somewhere where you can read you know what all the notes are but those are the most dominant notes into my nose quite frankly this is honestly a very rare composition a rare unique uh i want to say exclusive composition because in all my time, I have not smelt something like this fragrance. And I, I want to say before, you know, we'll get into my final thoughts on this fragrance, but even now, prematurely, I want to say that this is not just a scent. This is a sensation. So what day of the week would you use this fragrance? This is a fragrance where I don't think you could equally wear it for every day of the week, but I think this is a very bold unique exclusive fragrance and it definitely warrants unique situations. I think this is perfect for a first date. I think if you are going to an event this would be amazing. This would definitely stand out in a crowd. Uh, most people would never have heard of this fragrance, leave alone, leave alone ever like smelt this fragrance before. 
definitely wear this for somewhere special, somewhere unique, somewhere where you want it to be memorable. Maybe someone's like your own wedding, for example. I would say this is definitely, this is a perfect scent for that because no one in the room is going to be wearing this. Even if you have, you know, 100, 200, 300 people, a huge wedding, no one is going to be wearing this fragrance here because it is such a unique, such a, like, the true definition of a, a niche fragrance. So the price proposition for this fragrance on the Botanique website, it's about $70. However, I picked it up at discounters for about 40 bucks, right? So incredible, incredible value for money in this fragrance here. It is quite stunningly, this is 100 ml. Um, and just in terms of like an eau de parfum, um, just the attention to detail, you know, I mean, it's aesthetics, right? I get it. It's definitely aesthetics. Um, you know, this is raised here. The print is raised. It's not just a sticker. It's a fake wooden cap. Definitely very secure. Performance on this fragrance is not a beast. However, I would say that it does last five, at least six to seven hours right so it does last six to seven hours this is not a beast fragrance however it is a classy fragrance and it does exactly what it puts its mind to so we're looking at about six to seven hours on this fragrance which is basically all you need um, and for the value that you're getting from this fragrance I think it's well worth it for um, at least six to seven hours on this fragrance points of reference you know I've lauded this this fragrance um, and I don't want to say, I want to say that I've lauded this fragrance, but look, the reality is there really isn't anything on the market that I've smelled that is like this fragrance. So there are elements uh, of this fragrance, and if you like f like the family of certain fragrances, you might like this fragrance. So if you like Shalimar, for example, by Guerlain, or you like, and a lot of people online, um, a reference Dior Homme uh, or Dior Homme Intense because of the iris note but I think it's such a disservice to this fragrance to say oh this smells like Dior Homme Intense and just chalk it up to being like that to being something like Dior Homme Intense or Dior Homme it's just because it shares that similar um, similar iris note in it that makes it that make, gives it that reference uh, you know the fictional character that I would associate this with is probably Ryan Gosling from Crazy Stupid Love. Someone who's edgy, someone who is confident, someone who doesn't want to be or look or sound like anyone else. This is a perfect fragrance for someone who, uh, someone like Ryan Gosling from Crazy Stupid Love. Crazy stupid love. Is this fragrance worthy of your collection or worthy of collecting dust? By now you might have guessed it already. It's really a journey and not a destination. Some fragrances in your fragrance journey or for fragrance enthusiasts, you're gonna want to have something really simple, something laid back, something that hasn't gone, you know, you don't have to put a lot of thought into it. It's this is really the polar opposite of a dumb reach, right? This is not something that you just don't know what to wear and you're gonna grab this. This is definitely something which a lot of thought has gone into this fragrance um, in terms of its composition, in terms of art, in terms of uh, just everything. Like this is an X Factor fragrance, right? This is a this is a fragrance that has absolutely everything: the packaging, the price point, and absolutely the scent itself, right? Honestly. Uh, Quite literally one of the best finds uh, that I've come across in recent years. Have you tried Matin Mugador? Have you tried anything from Botanique Expressions? Is this a house that you might be interested in looking into? I'm always looking for, you know, fragrance houses which are quite different, which are quite unique, which uh, really don't, isn't really, you know, your run of the mill type of fragrance. So. If you have something in your collection or you've tried something from this house, please let me know. I would love to hear about it in the comments below. Um, and uh, if you have not subscribed, please do. I would really appreciate it. It would help this channel grow. And I'll catch you on the next one.